I have ADHD. Let's react to South Park episode on ADHD. Okay, children, I hope you all did your homework last night. First of all, who can tell me what year the Founding Fathers got together? Let's see, how about... Please don't cut me. Please, Jesus, don't cut me. Wendy. Phew! 1776. Good job, Wendy. Who can tell me what famous person wrote the Declaration of Independence? Let's see... Oh, I know. How about the new student, Timmy? Timmy! No, it wasn't you, <laughs> Timmy. Try again. <laughs> Timmy, did you not do your homework? <sighs> you need to work on your study skills. <sighs> that does it! Well, Timmy, I just don't know what to do with you and the I love this TV show. It's one of my favorites, so let's continue. Teachers are complaining that you aren't paying attention. I think maybe Timmy is suffering from something called Attention Deficit Disorder, or ADD. It's very common in kids his age. It should be easy enough to find out. They have tests for that kind of thing now. And this is a very simple test which should determine without a doubt whether or not Timmy has Attention Deficit Disorder. Timmy! So far, it's quite normal. So most of the time when you have ADHD and you get diagnosed younger like me, uh, it's most, most of the time it's a teacher that notices that you're uh, disturbing or that you are just unfocused in class. Now, Timmy, I'm going to read you a book called The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over. <laughs> ah. Okay, now, Timmy, can you tell me, in Chapter 7, what kind of car no. did Gatsby drive? Timmy! Well, that settles it. This young man definitely has attention deficit disorder. Well, ADD is fairly common in kids today. I'm going to prescribe some Ritalin, and we'll see how that goes for little Timmy. Timmy. You better have done your homework last night, Timmy. What's this? Okay, it's quite funny because they are so wrong in so many areas. So, the test to get the diagnosis to see if you have ADHD or not is quite long, and even longer when you're a kid like them. So, for example, for me, I needed to see a lot of specialists so I was able to get my diagnostic. So, it's if they are quite wrong, but uh, at the end of the day, it's quite funny. Tim. Please excuse Timmy from all questions and all homework as he has been diagnosed with attention deficit disorder. That's just swell, Timmy. Looks like you've outsmarted the principal and the counselor. Tim. Very well. I guess you're excused from homework. Hey, wait. I think maybe I have attention to function disorder. Yeah, me too. After a while, I went out and left the hospital and walked back to the hotel. Okay, so first thing, it's not because you have ADHD that you won't get any homework or stuff like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. So, <laughs> this one is just wrong. Oh, in the rain. In chapter 12, what kind of <laughs> bottles did Miss Van Kampen talk about? My god, these children all have ADD! There's your prescription, Miss McCormick, a hundred dollars worth of Ritalin. Next! Oh, hi, Sheila. Kyle gets so hyped, but sometimes he runs around and screams like a little eight-year-old. So there's a problem in this society. Sometimes people with ADHD or people that don't have ADHD get diagnosed for ADHD. The biggest problem with that is it doesn't get the right treatments. So sometimes people are just anxious or they just don't, they just have nothing. So whenever someone, a doctor prescribes, they need to be careful to prescribe the right thing and to get the right diagnostic for the patient and to be sure to help them properly. The thing that is quite funny with that is they just, they like it's normal that they are kids and they get unfocused sometimes. And to have a, a diagnostic for ADHD is much more than that. And that is the, uh, maybe the joke that I tried to do. I am eight. Next, please. What do we have here? Oh, it's Ritalin. <laughs> That's right. I got a bad case of ADD. No homework for me. Hey, guys, have you been taking your... <laughs> yeah, so there are kids. It's normal. So when you have ADHD, there is a difference between just being hyperactive or just like being a, a child and have ADHD. So it's quite different and different contexts and different. In fact, the hyperactivity is just a coping mechanism from your ADHD. Uh, to be able to help yourself to focus. So we just say coping mechanism. But I like that joke. Ritalin? Huh? No, we're not actually gonna take that stuff. Yeah, dude, you gotta try it. It makes you feel good. Hello, Hello chef. chef. Hello, sir. Because we're on Ritalin. What? We all have attention deficit disorder, so we all started taking Ritalin. So that's why all <laughs> you children are acting so damn boring. Damn it, children. Okay, so it's quite funny, but it's also really important. Some of the mitigation have such a bad reps because people think the kids are going to get like zombies. So sometimes you don't have the right medication for you or you don't have the right strength. So if you take a medication that is too powerful for you, you're going to feel like crap or a zombie. And if you don't take enough, you won't feel anything. So at the beginning, there's a lot of adjustment to have. And unfortunately, because of belief like that, a lot of people stop taking medication right away. They just try once and they're like, oh, it doesn't work. 
When you try medication, you need to often try many to find out the right one for you. You don't need drugs to make you pay attention in school. In my day, if we didn't pay attention, we got a bell to the bottom. Yes, but now we don't have any homework. Those damn psychologists prescribe all kind of medicines to you children without even caring about the side effects. Damn. Did you guys see that? See what? Okay, children, let's settle down. Oh my God, Mr. Head, these children are so boring on Ritalin. <laughs> uh, ah, all right, children. Today, we're going to learn about human reap. Okay, so the most common side effects are not uh, seeing that Brittany uh, B or something like that. So for me, it was a pro probably when I was taking Sotera. I was having so much trouble to sleep with a medication like Ritalin when I was younger. I struggled with eating. I wasn't eating as much, so I wasn't uh, hungry. But that's about the point that I was saying before. When you try mini medication, you are going to find one that is going to work better for you or that you don't have any side effect. So for me, it's the full quest. It's another medication, but it's pretty much the same thing. Production, what do you think about that? But sex. <laughs> Well, damn it, Eric, don't you have some smart-ass thing to say? Gee, you seem a little stressed, Mr. Garrison. Why don't you try some Ritalin? <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that is one of the biggest misconceptions. It's not because you take any uh, pills or stuff like that that you are going to lose your personality. You're still the same person. Just your brain is able to listen to yourself. So you have more control on yourself and less impulsive and stuff like that. So you, you can do what you want to do in other words. So, yeah. What brand of pants am I wearing? Let me see. <laughs> How do you like that, Tyrant? Let's watch something else. Yes, let's. The hit group Timmy has broken up. Oh dear, Timmy's band broke up? You know something? I think that's good. It was wrong to make Timmy a singer. Yeah, Phil Collins was right. People laughed at Timmy, and Timmy should be at home where he's protected from laughter. So it's decided. Phil Collins' concert for all of us. Hooray. Uh-oh. <laughs> you killed Kenny. Bastard. Paris, I call you all together because I think you might be making a mistake putting your children on Ritalin. But I brought over a videotape to show you that there are alternatives to Ritalin. Here to tell you, you about my exciting turn. new drug-free treatment for children with attention deficit disorder. If you would like more information on my bold new treatments, please send away for this free brochure. Well, what do you think? That video had pretty <laughs> colors. Damn it! Have you all been taking your children's Ritalin too? Yes! Ah, yes. oh, fudge it. Chef, are you going to the Phil Collins concert tomorrow? <laughs> Phil Collins is playing Lala Palabas, and because we're all doing so well in school now, our parents said they would take us. His flowing melodies are really... So, the biggest problem with that, with the technique of beating, of course, it's not something that you want to do or that is ever good. But some people make the mistake that it's uh, eating of behavior. So, if the child is not able to focus, it's because it doesn't want to. But most of the time, when you have ADHD, you really want to focus on something, but you can't or you really struggle. And that's why something hard to have ADHD. And that's why medication often helps. Enjoyable to us. Yes. Come with us. Ah, it's Christy over there again. She's on my bag. Ah! The Rillin has affected your little cracker brains too deeply. Hey, open this damn door. What the hell are you two doing prescribing all the children Ridley? But now you got a town full of zombie children from the planet Xandor. Huh? All around the country, you bastard doctors are giving children Ridley. And for every one child that actually needs it, you give it to 50,000 that don't. We you damn right I tell you your business because you two have got your heads up your asses. Thanks to you, we have children in our town that like Phil Collins. you made them so dull and boring that they are actually going to go to a Phil Collins concert. My God. What have we done? <laughs> My God. <laughs> okay, it's a bit of exa an exaggeration, but sometimes ADG get overdiagnosed. So. <laughs> then we need an antidote. Yes, of course. I have some right here. It's a compound called Riddle Out. <laughs> all right, come on. We got to get the antidote to all the children. Quick, here. We can put the real antidote in these drinks and hand them out to the children. Wasn't that great, son? Sure was, Dad. Here you go, Stan and Kyle. Free drinks on me. Oh, thank you, Chef. <laughs> How nice. Come on, drink it down. It's free. Oh, no! Get off me! Get off me! Drink this, Eric. God help me! Wait a minute. Phil Collins sucks ass. Yeah! What the hell were we thinking? I think 
Big is working. Yeah. Get off the stage, Phil Collins. We want Timmy. Yeah. yeah. You just want to laugh at him. No. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Okay, of course, uh, AD, GPLs, and your talents doesn't change your interest in a life or stuff like that. It won't change your music taste, but let's continue. <laughs> okay, to be honest, it wasn't as bad as expected. So there's a lot of when they got really, really wrong, but most of them are a tiny bit of truth. So there was a few things that I wasn't like totally agreeing with them, like the way that they portray taking pills and like candy and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's a great show and a great joke. So subscribe.